Update. Again, the state government has pledged $4 million to investigate the possibility of converting seawater to drinking water. It's part of a plan to boost Sydney's dwindling water supply. But the announcement is a backflip by the government, which previously dismissed the idea as too expensive. Energy Australia says it's common practice to cool transformers at Sydney's power substations with a garden hose. The North Sydney plant uses a lawn soaker to prevent overheating. Sydney pilot Ray Clambach is back in Australia two weeks after ditching his light plane in the Pacific Ocean. He says he's lucky to be alive. A Russian spacecraft has safely docked at the International Space Station after a last-minute hitch and students seek expert advice before tomorrow's HSC exams. All the details in 7 News tonight at 6.